okay guys so welcome back to another video in my kitchen um today what i'm gonna do i'm gonna do something nice for you all simple and easy you can use the ground beef to do it you could use any type of meat what i'm gonna do i'm gonna use my salt fish otherwise called codfish so as you can see here i have two half of um codfish otherwise called as salt fish i have two pack so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna wash the salt off it and i'm gonna put it to boil like three times because you want to get the salt out of your salt fish this is it so i'm gonna rinse them off rinse off the salt and i'm gonna boil it all right so that's it so um as i said guys i put my two pack of salt fish to boil because you have to boil out those salt so you don't salty and as i said um i'm doing vegetable salt fish pie and you have um you have meat pie too so you the meat pie you use the ground beef to do it so i'm doing vegetable salt fish pie so in here i have four cups of flour one tablespoon of white sugar i'm gonna put it in the flour here i have one teaspoon of baking powder half teaspoon of salt half teaspoon of nutton egg or you could use cinnamon powder any spice you want this flour is to like sprinkle the surface so i'm gonna put it over there two eggs you need two eggs and you need 10 teaspoon of butter or margarine it doesn't matter you could use margarine or you could use butter so i'm gonna use a teaspoon to measure this so i don't overdo it So I'm going to break my eggs into the bowl, two eggs. And I'm going to swish this around. So my hands are clean. What I'm going to do, I'm going to use my finger to um crush out the butter in the flour so you want to make sure the butter um mash out in small pieces And when I make this go, I'm going to put it in the fridge for at least a hour. I'm going to put the egg into it, the eggs into it. I'm going to mix. And you need five tablespoons of evaporated milk or whole milk. It doesn't matter which milk you want to use. And you're going to put it and you're going to make your dough. I'm going to make my dough and I will be back. Yes, you need water to make your dough, of course. So I'm going to make, finish make my dough and I will be back. Okay, so this is my dough. All right, I'm gonna put it in the fridge for a hour, and then after you will see how I make my vegetable saltfish pie when I'm back. Okay, guys, so um, we're gonna go straight into our vegetable saltfish pie. So um, I'm gonna use sweet pepper. So this is the red green 
and yellow sweet pepper otherwise called bell pepper and this is some mixed vegetable with peas carrot and corn and um, I have one large tomato and I have some chopped onions and I have three pack of garlic and I have two pack of sawfish that I wash that I boil I wash it then I boil it like three times and I put it to cool now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna break this up with my hands make sure your salt fish is not salty so we have to make this for it to cool and my uh, mixed vegetable already cook I already steam them because you don't want to use any raw veg in your pie So we're gonna go straight over now in over to the stove. So over here I have my oil. Not a lot, like maybe just a tablespoon to fry the season. So we're gonna go straight ahead and we're gonna crush our garlic. Remember, we are making the, the filling for the um the pie. Alrighty, so this is the garlic. I'm gonna go in with my onions. Pepper, the white coal, bell pepper. And you're gonna cover this and you're gonna let it fry up for a while before we go in further with our cooking. So now we're gonna go into our rice tomato. It smells so nice. I'm gonna put a little of the stir fry, stir fry um sauce. This tastes nice, and it have a little spice in it. Not too much, but just a little. You're not going to add any water to this guys, you're just going to cover it and let it just fry up and spring water because this thing already have um, the salt fish already cooked, the mixed vegetable already cooked, everything is already cooked. Alright, so you're just frying it up and I'm going to cover it for it to sweat and um, let me put a little black pepper into this. I'm going to cover this down and I'm going to let it stay there and um, fry before. Let me put a little of of taste, not a lot, a pinch. And this is not the Maggi all pepper, this is a different brand of all pepper season. This smells nice. Guys, because I'm not using the ground beef, I'm using the saltfish. Normally, when you're using the ground beef, you'd have to mix a little flour in the water to put in the pot to um, thicken the dough. But because I'm 
I've already put these before I fry it up. I don't have to um, do that because as you can see, you don't see any water, no liquid in my saltfish. So I'm gonna just cover this down. I'm gonna let it stay there. And um, fry it up. Now we'll be back. So you see what's going on here? Ready? So this is frying up. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna turn this off and I'm gonna leave it to cool. Then we're gonna go straight into our dough, making our vegetable saltfish patty. Okay, guys. So this is my dough already. I take it from the fridge. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna break it into two pieces. I'm going to put this aside. I'm going to make this into a ball. First, I'm going to fold my surface. So, um, guys, so as you can see, I have my, um, my dough and I'm going to cut it. We're gonna roll this now. We're gonna use our rolling pin to roll the dough. If the dough's sticking, you could put some flour over your rolling pin. My counter is clean. Alright, and you're gonna roll your dough. You don't, you, you don't want it too thin and you don't want it too thick. So, guys, you're gonna use uh a big fold to cut your dough. All right, just like that. You're gonna move this from around it, and um, we're gonna put our our filling between. Okay, so I'm not gonna put too much. All right. gonna go ahead we're gonna fold this see this guys just like this all right make sure it's sealed properly so nothing running out of it and we're gonna use our egg to seal the edge this is the egg um egg with milk one egg one beaten egg with milk all right then we're gonna press this down we're gonna place it on our baking tray all right we're gonna go straight into the other one now sit down I think I'm gonna use the container to cut it because I don't want them so big I'm not making party <laughs> alrighty guys so this is the next one
so guys as you can see i'm using the the wash the hair wash to um put over it to give it this um cross and um also to, also to give it the color so i'm gonna put this in the oven and i'm gonna make the rest and put it into the oven also and i preheat my oven to 350 degree so i'm gonna just go ahead and i'm gonna just place this into the oven and just continue my procedure okay okay so this is the finished look of my veggie saltfish pie guys look at this so pretty guys uh, remember to like up the video always click the thumbs up press the like button please and remember to share it with your friends all right pass on my my video let somebody um see what's going on alrighty and um guys remember to comment and remember to watch the hearts it's important all right look at this so pretty mm. and remember you can do it with ground beef i do it with um saltfish alrighty so this is my vegetable and saltfish pie okay one love guys here i show you a little glimpse when i cut it this is how it look see that so juicy and nice look at that and flaky as you can see it, it's flaky so i said let me cut one for you to see how it look <laughs> 